Hi everyone, welcome back to new Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cargill. And today we're going to do a little bit different. It's a little more chill and relaxed. It is the uh, set review for Strangers in New Valhalla. The new set that's coming out. We're going to go over it. We're going to talk about it. Me and Cargill, our thoughts, our ideas on each of these cards. And how they would do in each format. Whether it's... We're really only going to focus on three. We're going to focus on Limited. Uh, cluster, which is just New Valhalla block, and New Frontiers, which is like the last block and this one. Yep. Um, so essentially that's our grading scale is what, which one it would fall into. Some are going to fall into all three. We're not really going to worry about that. We're just going to follow about which one it mostly would go into. So we're going to start with the color of white or light, and it's got a lot of cool things. We're gonna see what it can do, and let's delve into it. Oh yeah, let's get let's get on. Yeah, we got a long it's, road ahead of us. We got a big journey, but we're gonna we're gonna be going through it together. So Alice, otherworldly visitor, is the first girl we got. <laughs> Two white and one for an eight eight resonator. She's a fairy tale wonder, which is pretty cool. Uh, she comes in and play another target resonator gains plus two plus zero oh, and eternal until the end of turn. It's good. Good. Uh, when this card ends the field from your deck, put two one counters on it. Sweet. So you can get a 10 10 for three or however many. Yeah. Uh, and then five, banish this card, search your deck for a card named Alice Otherworldly Visitor and put it into the field. Then shuffle your deck. So essentially, she's there to replace herself. If they board wipe or you know she's going to die, you're like, cool, pay five and I'm going to go get a bigger one. Yeah. Or even, yeah, just even at the end of the turn, be like, okay, I'll pay five, go get <laughs> another one. And then give the, another dude internal so that you can block safely as well. So, and pump it up and hopefully kill her dude. I, I think it's going to be in New Frontiers. I would use it. Yeah, this card definitely is a New good. Frontiers viable just for, off of the first two abilities alone. Yeah. And then having the added value of being like, hey, I'm going to go get this. Well, it's an 8-8 eight, eight for three. Yeah. That makes another dude swing into another dude or kill a dude. Yeah, it, it blocks just... a lot of things and does a lot. All right. The next one is Barrier of Faith. One white quick cast, Divinity 1, Chant Rune. Quick cast. Prevent all damage that would be dealt by chance until in a turn. That's all right. It's okay. We don't know if there's a lot of burn in this set or not, so yeah. we'll see how this goes. I don't goes. know. I think it's... Limited? I think this no, would be more know. New Frontiers, if anything, or Cluster, really. But we'll have to see. I mean, it totally shuts down Isis's Master Rune, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Right now, it's just Sideboard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next up is Blade of Faith. It is a Divinity 2 chant slash master rune, and it's a white and three. You may pay three less to play this if Brunhild is your ruler, and remove target resonator from the game. This card's awesome. Super good. I definitely would not use this as your master, because her master rune from the original is too good. Yeah. But having four of these main board to just be like, pay one remove target, dude? <laughs> I don't see what's wrong with that at all. And that's the cute thing of it. It just says pay three less. It doesn't have to be in your rune deck to do that. Yeah. It's just like, if you have Brunhild, then pay three less. Yeah. So just one white, remove target resonator from the game. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, it's only on your turn, but I, I don't care. It's one white. Get out of my it's game just, for whenever I want. It's overpowered. Yeah, it cards real good. Super good. Uh, next one is Con Constrict. Conscript. Yeah, sorry. Uh, one white and four. It's a 914 vanilla fairy tale. Uh, it is. It's a limited card. I don't think it's really good unlimited. No, uh, the butt's okay. It can block all the the standard J rulers. Yeah, for limited. I mean, the picture's awesome, but yeah. that's about it. Uh, next up is Dark Alice Doll. So three mana for a four ten. It's a fairy tale doll, and it's got flying and drain. Whenever you gain life, this card deals two hundred damage to target a opponent or J resonator. This ability triggers once per turn. This card's awesome. This card's insane. I mean, you take an Angel of Hope and make it shoot something. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And whenever you gain life, it's, I, I just, this card's really good. Just three mana, I get to gain life, and I fly over you. I have a 410 yeah. for three mana that yeah. can block anything to gain life and shoot it for 10. Like, it's good. Essentially, you can think of this as a 610 just because it can, when you gain life, you shoot one thing for six yeah. or for two more. So it's essentially six damage to that thing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Super good. Very good and limited. Probably be used in standard or in New Frontiers. Uh, next one's a God's Choice. Two white quick cast. Chant. Uh, recover target rested resonator. If this card was played during your turn, destroy it instead. Huh. Huh. Okay. So you can either kill a dude that attacked you. Or you can untap one of your guys. I kind of like this card. On their turn. 
I mean, it's not the best. I think miscalc is just better for killing a dude. Yeah. But this card being able to give you a choice is pretty sweet. God's choice, by the way. <laughs> I, I think it's mostly going to be a limited bomb, actually. Yeah, limited would be good. Um, I, it could be used in standard, but I think it's mostly a limited bomb. Next up is the March Hare of Valhalla. Two mana for a 6-6 six, six fairy tale were rabbit. Rune 2, he gains drain, and rune 4, he gets plus 3, plus 3. I think this card is awesome. Yeah. I mean, if you've seen our Army of Light deck, we play with rune things, and this and dude's going to just get fit in there right well, because... You get rune four pretty quickly. Oh yeah, and you have a nine nine drain. Awesome. Seems good. For Seems two. good. Seems good. just for two. Yeah. The next one, Messenger of the Sun, one white one two four. He's a human. Whenever you play a rune, draw a card, banish this card, destroy target edition. I don't know. I, he seems very weak to me, to be honest. He does. I think if anything, he's kind of a good uh, sideboard card in New Frontiers, but that's really about it. Yeah. I, he's okay in limited. I mean, he's gonna be some. He's just a dude in limited. That's really all he's gonna be used for. Yeah, he's just a two four dude. You probably scrap him. I wouldn't use him. Yeah. Uh, next up is Mistletine. M Mistelstein. Mistels. I don't know. The pious sword saint. Mistletine. Five mana for a twelve twelve human wanderer. Uh, enters. You may pay a white and one less to play your next rune this turn. Pretty cool. When yeah. you play a rune from a rune area. Put target resonator with total cost three or less from your graveyard into the field. Ridiculous. When this card blocks or is blocked by a resonator, destroy that resonator. Yeah, doesn't even have to deal damage. It says, initiate blocks, kill that guy. So uh, this guy remi or this chick reminds me a lot of the old Arthur, the five drop Arthur that just hated the world. She kind of does the same thing. Yeah. And you get dudes back like, immediately because all your white runes are going to be like two or less anyway, like literally. So you literally, you play her, you play something that does something else, then you get a three drop and put it into play. It's so much value. Yeah. She's this, insane. She's pretty good. Definitely looking for, she's a bomb in limited. Oh yeah. Like you're winning the game in limited with her. Uh, she'll probably be in New Frontiers and she'll definitely be in Cluster. Oh yeah. Next up is the Monk Heroic Spirit. Two white and one for an 8-8 eight, eight Heroic Spirit. This card gains plus O oh, plus one for each other Heroic Spirit you control. Man, I personally hate cards like this because <laughs> it forces you into one thing. Yeah, and it, it's kind of man. If you like go limited and you were able to pull all of these, then maybe. Yeah, it'd be cool. It'll be limited, fun, but that's about it. I think this is mostly a limited card. Oh yeah, musician of the moon, one white, three three, were rabbit, rune three, draw a card. It's meh. Yeah, I think it's kind of meh for standard. It's cool and limited, but. I mean, it's not really that I mean, good. The the other one that two drop that does better with more runes or less runes. It's it's way better. Yeah, and there's already a one drop that draws your card for free, like the the historic chick. Uh, next up is mysterious welcome party. One mana, quick cast, one white, and choose one. Prevent the next eight damage that would be dealt to target resonate until the end of the turn, or you gain eight life. It's okay, limited. I don't know why Adam has to look so sad, but. Because he got dragged to this party. Oh, okay. Look at him. He's just like, I don't just want like, to be I here. Don't want, I'm done. He's got things to do. I'm done. I think this card's pretty good and limited. It, it's definitely its place. Yeah. Next one, uh, Palace Chef. One white and two, seven, eight. Enters the battlefield, gains six life. It's limited. Yeah, it's mostly a limited card. I could see it be sideboard, but it's kind of meh still. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm glad you got this one. <laughs> I am not. All right, Regan Leaf. Inheritor of God's Will. Yeah. Five mana for an 815 Valkyrie. It's got flying. At the end of turn, recover all resonators you control. Leaf Healer 2.0, here we come. <laughs> I mean, Leaf Healer's still way better because it's Leaf Healer, but she's still pretty good. I mean, the art is, there's a lot of things going on with it, except for a derpy face. <laughs> there's no <laughs> idea what's going on. Yeah. It's definitely a limited bomb. I mean, it's that's really its main place. Yeah, I could yeah. see a cluster, but... Yeah. Cluster, but you might as well play the other five drop. Yeah, yeah there's a lot oh, of better five about. drops. The next one, Spirit of the Moonlight Knights. One white, two two, Spirit. Flying, this cannot be attacked. <laughs> this card's awesome. It's a cute little beater. Yeah, it, it just, I'm a swing too. I don't care. Don't attack me. Especially if you do the Kingdom of Diversity deck that we like to usually <laughs> play with. That would be really good. 
Uh, next up is the Swordsman's Heroic Spirit. Two white for a 6-6. Six, six. This card gains plus 1, plus 0 oh for each other Heroic Spirit. Again, limited card. I still don't like them because they force you to do too much. But in limited, they'd be really bomb if you got a lot of them, like you were saying. Because you can play yeah. more than four in limited. So you're just like, ah, these dudes are big. Especially since there is a defense and a aggro one. So you just play them both and go back to back. All right, the Battle of the Sun and Moon. Quick cast, two white and three. Divinity, two. Chant rune. Uh, you may pay one more to play this card from your rune area. So six. Recover two target resonators. They gain plus two, plus four until in a turn. This card is garbage. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. Especially, we got what? Blessing of the Sun, which is one white, plus two, plus two to all your dudes, and you untap them at the end of turn. I mean, it says quick cast, but... This card is definitely going to be a limited bomb, though, because it does untap your dudes after they've attacked, and you get to swing again. Yeah, I can see unlimited. But that's... I Otherwise, I'm not a huge fan of this card. It's got its place, but I think it's mostly limited. Yeah. And Brunhild looks Oof, terrible. Exactly. Sorry, was, she just does. I was just about to say that. I don't know what <laughs> happened. She got stretched into time. <laughs> uh, next up is the Stranger from Re-Earth. Two white and two for Divinity 3, and it's a chant rune. You may pay one less to play this card from a rune area. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may put a fairy tale resonator from among them into the field. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in a random order. If no resonator was put into the field this way, recover up to three magic stones. That's cool. So I like, I like this card a lot. Yeah. And, and I, w I don't know about using it. It's cool as a rune, but I don't know if it's better than the runes we have right now. But it is pretty cool just because it is technically free if, yeah. you, if you whiff. Yeah. Otherwise, you get a dude. So, I mean, it, it gives you something. Like, the only cost, if it wasn't your rune, it's Divinity 3, which is a lot. But still, to be able to find a dude put into play and it's any mana cost yeah of total cost of whatever so you know. any of those big fairy tales we talked about earlier just be like hey dude yeah it's pretty good all right next one valkyrie of the dawn two white two eight eight flying just the limited goodness yeah dude, limited greatness and total weeaboo card love it yeah <laughs> uh next up is wizard heroic spirit four mana for a 510 it is a heroic spirit as well Enter, rest up to X target resonators your opponent controls where X is the number of heroic spirits. This heroic spirit I actually kind of like. It, it definitely is going to do some stuff for you and it can tap down your, your opponent's dudes to win you the game for unlimited. So yeah, for limited, I would collect all heroic spirits as possible and I think that would actually step you over yeah. and winning. Definitely one of the best cards in limited. Oh yeah. Alright, and that was the end of the light, so let's go ahead and get to fire. And the very first one is All Under Heaven Shall Perish. That's what the card is glorious. Yes. It's a two red, two divinity, two. So, so it's a chant rune. You may pay one more to play this card from your rune area. But this card does 500 damage to each resonator your opponent's controls. If your life is 10 or less, the card deals 10 damage instead. And I like that it's the opponent controls. So you just sli slightly try to board wipe them more than anything. Yeah. This gives Red another way to board wipe them, which is pretty silly. Yeah. At That's the moment, they have three board wipe runes with this. Technically four if you play Isis's. <laughs> so, I mean, you're just like, ah, board wipe. Yeah. It's kind of silly. It is kind of silly. Uh, it's not the best card, but I like the idea of it. Because that with the uh, Sandstorm and you deal at least seven to their whole board. Yeah, for four. Pretty neat. <laughs> Next up is the Annihilation Dragon. Five mana for a 10-8. Flyer, when it when this card attacks, it deals 200 damage to target J slash Resonator. Eh, limited. Yeah, I think it's going to be a limited bomb. I mean, it, it could see play as a Fushi card, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, the next one. Frontline Warrior. One red, one, six, five, Swiftness. I like it. Yeah, I it's like him good. a lot. Uh, especially limited. I mean, right now we have boars that are, what, seven, five, Swiftness, first strike or whatever. Yeah. So, eh. It, it can be good. Oh, he's a human. So, I mean, you can play him in goofy uh, Brunhild for anime humans. Just to be like, hey, we're anime human. <laughs> that works. I mean, he's he's good in limited. He's real good in limited. He'll probably be used in standard too, honestly. <laughs> uh, next up is Gaze of the Fire Emperor. Four mana for a chant. This card deals 1,200 damage to target J slash Resonator. That's awesome. I'm glad it tar targets Jace. Yeah, so it's just four mana, just I'm going to blow up something. <laughs> that, that. I This card's really good. I think, if anything, it's going to be a sideboard card. Yeah. 
in New Frontiers, but otherwise it's going to be pretty cool and limited. Definitely. The next one, Ladies of the Three Stars, one red and one six five, inner ability. You may pay two red if you do search your deck for a card named Ladies of the Three Stars and put it in the field and shuffle your deck. So as much, as many stones as you have, you can keep doing this. <laughs> it's pretty Especially silly. late game and you're limited, you're like, okay, turn two, or whatever. Play two, pay two more. Another one comes in, pay two more. Another one comes in. For So for six mana, you can get that. That's pretty silly. Yeah. I think these are really good and limited. I don't see them really used in New Frontiers, but yeah, they're pretty good. Next up is Lady Huang's Karakuri Soldier. Four mana for a 9-9. And he's just a 9-9 beater. He's just a vanilla limited dude. Yeah. I, it's, uh, it's what that's he's going to do. If you need a card to fill your deck, then there you go. Yeah. And this next one, Matt. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Matt. Arbiter <laughs> of Judgment. One red, one six. So awesome. As he probably said, probably another waifu card here. But you <laughs> tap... Red. It's kind of weird. Uh, banish another Resonator. This card deals 600 damage to target Resonator. And then you can tap red, red, red. Banish this card. This card deals 800 damage to target opponent. So I kind of like this card, honestly. It's really cool and limited because you're just like, I'll control your board with my little dudes that I don't care about. Yeah. Um, and late game, you can just be like, take eight. It's really good and limited just because it gets there. Yeah. But I think that's what this card is going to be used for is like a sideboard way to get there more than anything if it's used at all in New Frontiers. Uh, next up is the Neo Berserk Dragon. Four mana for a 10-8 Flying Swiftness Dragon. At the end of battle, if this card attacked or blocked, it deals 10 damage to you and each Resonator. So I'm probably one of the few people that actually really likes this card. I think it makes Fushi pretty, pretty strong. Because on his turn, when he goes and gets a dragon, you're just like, cool, shoot the board for 10 at, after I swing. Thanks. Yeah. I just I think this dude's really good just because he, he can do a lot for you. Sure, you're going to take some damage, but I mean, <laughs> you're playing red. That's what you're supposed to do. You're just like, I'll, I'll kill you. You're dying. Just always hopefully hope that their life is lower. Yeah, I mean, that's your purpose, right? Because you never want to block with this guy and then take 10. That's ridiculous. So you're just always going to be attacking. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I'm gonna. You can talk to him about this little guy. All right, so numbing hedgehog. <laughs> he's adorable, first and foremost. Yes, super adorable. One red for a four-four beast enters target resonator cannot block until the end of turn. That's probably because of his cuteness that they can't block, but yep, that's just where he's at. Oh, maybe he's, electricity or the cuteness, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. See. <laughs> this dude is really good and limited, like super good and limited, and I I bet he'll see playing new frontiers. I honestly do, just because. One mana making a dude not block. This this could make Kirik a little better. Just because you're like, hey, don't block my dude this turn. Thanks. Yeah. It screws up their tempo while you're crashing in for damage. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, next one. Runes Beneath the Sand. Two red addition. It's an ancient rune. At the end of the turn, this card deals 200 damage to target opponent or resonator. If there are four or more runes revealed from your area, it deals 400 damage instead. I like it because it just constant two damage at the end of your turn. So you don't even lose value. You play it turn two, and then it deals two damage no matter what. Yeah. So I like. I would use this card. This is kind of one of my bleeder yeah. favorite cards. And it hits an opponent or a resonator. So if you need to kill the board, you can be like, that thing dies. That yeah. thing dies. I, I do like it. I think it'll be a pretty cool. I don't know. We'll have to see what Ancient Runes do. Uh, next up is Sand Awakening. One red and one for a quick cast Divinity 1, Chant Rune. And you may pay a red less to play this card from a rune area. And target resonator gains plus two, plus six until the end of turn, or if it's a fire resonator, it gets plus four, plus eight. So this card is actually really, really good in, I think, all formats, just because it's one colorless to play this card. Yeah. And it's Divinity 1. So most of the decks that I've made or that we've made have been Divinity 9 is the max that we can play. So you can switch out one of those runes that we have extra for this to get the full 10. And you don't lose any value because it's colorless to play it. Yeah. I, yeah, it's just I plus think two it's, plus six. I think it's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Yeah. All right, next up is Sand Soldier. One red and one. Eight six. At the end of battle, if it attacked or blocked, destroy it. Sad. But that's what Sand people do. Uh, rune three. This card gains plus four plus four. I think this that's, card is awesome, that actually. That's good. 
Yeah, this card's gonna definitely be good in, in limited because you can get rune three pretty simply with the chant runes. But I think this card is actually pretty good in, in new frontiers. It'll definitely be in cluster, I, I do believe, just because it's a pretty good two drop. Sure, it's gonna die, but I mean, what, 12 damage? For yeah, two mana? Seems good. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is Sandora's Invasion. Five mana, so two red and three for Divinity 3 Chant Rune. You may pay one less to play this from a rune area. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may put a Fire Resonator cost one, a Fire Resonator cost two, a Fire Resonator cost three from among them into the field, put the rest on the bottom in a random order. Yeah. I think this card's pretty good for a rune. It's, it's nothing crazy. I think it's going to be good in Cluster more than anything. Yeah. Uh, I just... It'll be good and limited, but I think it's mostly going to be a cluster card. Especially since you can just... Well, like, you can curve out. So, one, two, three, dude. Attack, block, destroy them all. And then turn four, if it's in your root area, you bring them back. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Next one, Scales of the Ascendant. Two red and one, chant. Target two resonators, destroy one of them at random. Yeah. Kind of a meh card. Kind of meh. Limited, because you need kill. If you play, if you if your red pull is great, yeah, it's the only thing. Next up is the Searing Wall of Sand. The picture is awesome. Yeah, the picture is super awesome. So three three mana, a red and two for a zero fifteen. It's a sand slash wall. Pay red. This card gets plus two plus zero until the end of turn. This card is a limited bomb. Yeah. Just because if you have lots of mana, you're just like swing. Oh, yeah. this dude makes it through. Pump 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 pump. And the term for it, usually in other TCGs, it's called fire breathing. And since yeah. it's in fire, then it works out. Yeah, and I, I, I essentially think this thing is just a limited bomb. That's really about all I feel it's going to do. Agreed. <laughs> Alright, the next one. Simi Hua, the crafty technician. One red, three, eight, nine. Enter, look at the top four cards of your deck. You can pay a fire card. Total cost one from among them without paying its cost. Put the rest of the bottom at your deck at random order. Don't play this guy. <laughs> uh, I don't really think that dude's that worth it. No. So, why would you play a bunch of aggro one drops and then all of a sudden have this four drop for no reason? <laughs> like, it's not good. Yeah, this dude kind of just feels like a filler card, and I just, I don't feel like he's worth it. No, you fill it, the, you fill the trash up with him. Is what you do. <laughs> uh, next up is Surtur the Sand Giant. Five red for a 15 15. <laughs> When this card is dealt damage, you may search your deck for a sand resonator three or less and put it into the field, and then shuffle your deck. The rune three red, enter, this card deals 800 damage to each resonator. I like this guy. Yeah, this dude's pretty good <laughs> for five red. I mean, you have to be all in red on this dude, but you're just like, hey, let's do some things. Hey, done. He's, he's a great limited bomb, because yep. you're going to probably all be in red. And I think he'll be really good in Cluster if you go Sand if, with Sand Warriors. But that's really about, I think, all he's going to do. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Alright, the next one. The Three Kingdoms Patron Plan. Or Partition Plan, sorry. <clears throat> two red, three. Divinity, two. It's a Chant Master Rune. You may pay three less to play this card if you have Fu Sing. Or Fu Sai. So, two red. Separate all resonators your opponent's control into three piles. Your opponent chooses one pile and banish the rest. These are iffy. I, this card is awesome for Fushi. <laughs> I, I don't care. Two mana, you separate your opponent. You get to decide what yeah. the piles are. And it's three piles. So you're like, that pile has this big dude. This pile has three dudes. And this pile has one, two dudes. Yeah. Have fun. Good luck. Or you're just like zero, one, and one. And it just it's so good. Yeah. Because they, they only get one dude for two mana. I'll take it. That is true. So say up the ultimate value, they have three creatures, you pay two red, to kill two of them, and you, they get to pick the best one they yeah. want. But still, that's two dudes gone. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's okay. it's it's going to be cluster more than anything, and probably it's okay. It's not really limited because you can't really play Fushi. Dude, yeah, I guess, if you, but you just have four of them in your main deck, and then you go for it as long as it's Fushi, and then you yeah. just like... Yeah. I every other turn, like... Let's make piles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think he's good in, in Cluster. Yep. Uh, next up is the Underhanded Assassin. It's three mana for... He's a red and two for a six nine. When this card blocks or is blocked by a Resonator, this card gets plus four, plus four until the end of turn. Dude is pretty good. Yeah, seems pretty good. I will take that all day long. Because, I mean, he's swinging in, you're going to do something. Whether it's kill a dude or they take six, 
because he gets there. Yeah, and he also has a derpy face. Yeah, he does. Ooh, Zulang is what I'm gonna say. That sounds right. <laughs> uh, two red, two nine nine, human wanderer. So enters the battlefield. Search your deck for a card name uh, Pang Tong. Reveal it and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. And that one is from the starter decks, yeah. correct? All right. Rune four. Enter. You may put a card named Putong from your hand onto the field, so for free. And then also rune four. Tap. Banish another resonator. Cancel target chant spell. I mean, if anything, I think this card's like a sideboard card just for the rune four bottom part. Yeah. But I don't really feel like this card's going to see a whole lot of play, sadly. I like her abilities, but I just don't think she's going to be worth it. She's highly utility, and sometimes that's the hardest cards to actually decide to play. Yeah. Because you, you need to find a specific spot to make her, you, yeah. you know, utilize her the best. Yeah. Uh, with that, we're going to move into the blue. we got some cool water stuff coming up, so let's see what they can do. Yep. And first off is Antarite, Sealed God of the Riverbed. So three blue for a 9-7 mermaid. Other mermaid resonates you control get plus four, minus two. That's weird. So we're making tribal mermaids in a not tribal mermaid. But very pissed area. off <laughs> mermaids. So, I mean, it does give Shayla extra power because all you can use all the little mermaid cards with Shayla and this dude and just be like, hey, let's do some things. Yep. Love the art, too. It's pretty yeah. good. Next one, uh, Bloodberry. <laughs> one and two, eight, seven. Awakening for three. So whenever you, I do believe when you cast it, right, you pay mm -hmm. three more. Enter. Put target resonator on top of its owner's deck. Limited, limited card and best. That's, I, it's just bad. It's very bad. That's way too much mana to do a, a minor ability. You slow them down, but that for limited. Yeah. Next up is Diverse Evolution. I, I don't know what's happening on the artwork, but, but this I like card it. is awesome. All right, so three mana, two blue and one for Divinity 2 Chant Rune. You may pay a blue less to play this card from a rune area. So two mana, target up to X resonators you control. For X is the number of different races among resonators you control. Put a plus one plus one counter on the first, then repeat this process for each target past the first, adding a one one counter each time. For example, put two counters on the second, three on the third, and four on the fourth. So Kingdom on Diversity gets its own chant rune, which <laughs> you just get to be like, my dude's big and now it's real big. They're super big. And so how many do I got? You're just like, I'm dudes. gonna win more and more. Yeah. And this one's a rune, so after you get your Kingdom of Diversity, you can be like, ah, my dudes are big. Again. Thanks. Yeah. I love that. I, that card's silly. It's going to be really cool in Limited, because you're just like, ah, this dude's big, this dude's big, this dude's bigger. I like it in Limited, and I think it'll be really good in Cluster, but that's really, I think, what it's going to be. Yeah, Limited can be pretty powerful. Yeah. The next one, Guinevere, the Mobile Queen. One blue, zero two. Uh, human, Machine, Wonder. Enter the battlefield, put two 1-1 one, one counters on target machine resonator, so it could be hurt. Banish a machine, put two 1-1 one, one counters on this card, and then you can tap. Remove a total of 12 1-1 one, one counters from any number of machines resonators you control. Search your deck for a card named Super Mobile Fortress Camelot, and put it in the field, then shuffle your deck. So this card is actually really, really good, just because I know what the little card searches for gets. We'll get to it, but... Even without that bottom ability of searching for it, banishing a dude, putting two card, two counters on this card, and come into play, you put two counters on target dude. Yeah. I mean, for one mana, I, it's pretty good to me. Because you're getting that really quickly. Yeah. If anything, they're, if they're going to kill your machines, it's something to have a sack outlet immediately to make it better. They're going to have to kill this first to make yeah. it worth it, you know? Yeah. Because like you said, if they do kill your machines, you're just like, I'm going to get extra use out of it and make something else big. Yeah. I, I think she's really strong. She'll be great in... Uh, she'll be okay in Limited. Not the best. No. But in, in Cluster, she's going to be really strong with Machines. I think if... The support they've given Machines could make it viable in New Frontiers, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, next up is Guinevere's Imperial Guard. It's a 3 mana for a 6-6 six, six machine with flying. It's That's okay. It. I think it's a Limited card, really. Yeah, limited. That's about where it needs to be. That's good. <laughs> That's probably the quickest card we've ever done. All right. <laughs> the next one. Mermaid of the Misty Spring. One blue, one, two, eight. At the end of your turn, 4C1. And 4C1 is you look at the top card of your library. If you want to want to keep it, put it there. If not, put it on the bottom. This card is awesome. Yeah. It's not really good in limited. I mean, it, it's helpful, but it's not the best. Yeah. 
but in constructed like new frontiers and cluster i think this card's gonna be everywhere it can be really good especially if you do the angry lord of the mermaids yeah and then i do believe it's like a six six or something like that yeah it would be a six six if you're doing any kind of mermaids it's gonna be good but i think it's good in just any kind of control deck too honestly yeah uh next up is mordred the operator four mana for a six six machine and it enters you put a one one counter on any number of target machine resonators <laughs> that's pretty cool that's good and you can tap pay a blue recover another machine resonator and put a one counter on it the dude's pretty hot yeah. for machines. He, he's just as like, four mana, all my dudes get big. And I'm going to make this dude get bigger. I think this dude's pretty strong, actually. Yeah, I think so as well. Again, we'll have to see what machines do, but limited, he's okay for machines. If you get a lot of them. Uh, cluster, he's going to be really good. Really good. And then New Frontiers, if they if if somebody figures it out, he'll be really good. Oh, yeah. I, I like it a lot. And the art, I think, is really awesome. Yeah. The next one, Mutation Slime. Two blue, two, nine, ten. All right. This card gains all races of resonators in your graveyard. You can plus one blue, or one blue. This card gains plus two, minus two. One blue, minus two, plus two. One blue, return this card to the owner's hand. I think it could be pretty strong. Yeah. There's other cards and other games that kind of had this ability, and it made them very powerful. I mean, with Diverse Evolution, he's kind of funny, because you automatically get all the... the Things. The things and then the, the and things are the just big and it's, and it's just, just goofy. Yeah. I think this dude could be pretty strong. He could be a really good finisher just because you can do a lot of different things with him. And I, that's, I think, where he's going to be. Limited, he's really cool. Constructed, he's going to be pretty decent. At it. It's just the four mana cost really slightly hurts. Yeah. Uh, next up is a mystery box. So seven mana, three blue and four. Divinity 3, it's a chant rune, reveal the top 5 cards of your deck, put all non-chant cards from among them into the field, and the rest in your graveyard. If this card does awaken, players cannot chase to it, and awakening is discard your hand. I don't know how I feel about this card, I feel like it's too much to use, honestly. Maybe in limited it would be super good. I like the idea of it, Yeah. and it's cool, but I don't think it's very good. No. I don't think it's going to be used even though I really wish it was, because the idea is cool. I may mess around with it, but I don't think it's going to be really that good. I mean, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But to build around it, it's a little little hard. All right, Parallel World Schroeder. Uh, one blue, three, three. He's a rocker, apparently. Yeah. Fairy cat, or fairy tale cat. <laughs> you may have any number of copies of this card. Oh, in your deck, done. Remove three cards name, Parallel World. In your graveyard from the game, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a resonator, put it in the fill. This dude's awesome. I, I, he's not really great. Nope. But I'm going to make lots of them. Yep. Bow, 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 bow. All those little, little, little cats. It's sad that when you're like, okay, remove three, and then you're hoping it's one of those big bombs that you have, but it's, no, it's just another shoulder. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll put it in the field. <laughs> yeah, it's probably... More often than not, you're probably going to hit another parallel world. You're like, ah, oh, great, I got another 3-3. Three, three. Solid. Okay. Uh, next up is Precision Guided Munition Skybeat. God damn. That's a huge name. Yeah. Three mana for an 8-8 eight, eight machine with flying. Machines you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on them gain flying. That's super good. Yeah. This card is definitely, again, like all machines, cluster good, limited maybe, new frontiers. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Ruins submerged beneath the misty spring. One blue edition, ancient ruins. Whenever you play a water resonator, you put a mist counter on this card. Remove two mystery counters from this card. Target resonator gains barrier chant until the turn. I love this card. Yeah. This card is pretty awesome. really good. Especially in machines. You just throw it in machines. It's one drop, done. All your machines are mostly water... They're all water resonators. Yeah. So and you, this is a way to protect them. You're going to get a whole bunch of mist counters and just be like, no, nah, don't target that dude. Yeah, don't don't target that dude. Just I, don't. This card is definitely uh, like a cluster slash new frontiers card. Limited, it's okay. It's okay. But it's not really a thing you want. Like if you do sill, there'll be more kill. But if you do draft, then there won't be as much kill yeah. to worry about. <laughs> Next up is my boy Schrodinger, the Harlequin of Phenomenon. Phenomena. I don't know. Four mana for a zero one fairy tale wanderer. He enters, remove the top target resonator in a graveyard from the game. If you do, this card becomes a copy of it and gains mask of 
Mimesis. Mimesis, yes. And Mask of Mimesis is tap, remove target resonator in a graveyard from the game, and if you do, this card becomes a copy of it and gains this ability. So essentially, he's a zero one that can take the place of whatever you have. Yep. Or whatever I want you to have. So he just does all kinds of silly stuff. You're like, hey, you have a big 12-12, uh, the, the, the chick that was in white that <laughs> yeah. kills everything. Somehow you killed it and it's in the graveyard. Yeah. You're like, hey, I want one. This is mine. Thanks. Or if you do it black blue with discard, you're like, discard your hands, turn four, now I got whatever impossible thing that you can't kill. Mosasaur, Mosasaur, all kinds of goofiness. Uh, the five drop barrier flash flying yeah. lady. I yeah. think this dude's really good. I like him. He's he's not as good in limited, but in cluster and new frontiers, I think he'll be used. I think he at most be like a two of though or a one of. Yeah, maybe. you don't want to go overboard because he's he still costs a lot for his ability, but he's really cool. Yeah. The idea is really cool. Next one, shackles of mist. One blue, one quick cast champ. Uh, rest target resonator, rest up to a second target resonator if this card was awakened, which costs three more, two blue and one, so five altogether. I don't think it's worth it. Limited, okay. Yeah. Limited, it's cool, but if you're doing it in New Frontiers, you may as well just run the five drop that bounces on non water dudes because it's better. Yeah. I, there's just better cards, I think, for five mana in New Frontiers. Next up is the Sky Round Musketeer. A blue and one for a 6-4 machine. Enter, put a 1-1 counter on this card. I, this dude's great in all formats, honestly. Yeah. 7-5. Like, he comes into play, you put a counter on him, so he's a 7-5 for 2. Limited, that's a bomb. Mm -hmm. Construct, or, uh, cluster, going to be pretty good, even if he's not with machines. Because he's just big. Especially if you go turn 3, all my dudes with 1-1 counters have flying. It's swinging. Yeah. It's good. And new frontiers, he'll be good if machines are good. Next one, uh, Skyfall, one blue champ. This card gains quick cast as long as you is in your hand and you control a machine resonator. Return target resonator to its owner's hand. See, this is way better than the other card already. Yeah, yeah. Like just one blue, bounce the thing. If as if you have a machine, then it's on their turn. Really good. Yeah, definitely a limited or er, like definitely like, limited. Yeah, definitely limited. It's good in cluster too. Yeah. Next up is Skynet. Terminators are coming, you know. Oh, yeah. Five mana for a Divinity 2 chant slash master rune. Uh, you may pay two less to play this card if your J ruler is Arthur. And this card deals damage equal to the, target, to the total attack of machine resonators you control, divided as you choose to any number of target resonators your opponent controls. That's a lot of words for this card should have been his original master rune. Because <laughs> um, this card is really, really good for Arthur and makes him really, really strong. Because if you have, like, I don't know, four dudes, mm -hmm. and they're at least six power, you're, that's 24 power. You're just like, I'm going to do what I want with it. Yep. Shoot that dude, shoot that dude, shoot that dude. For three. Thanks. And it's one-sided, because you choose all their opponent, your opponent's dudes. Yeah. They don't fight each other, technically. It's just, my damage does to you, thank you. And it's a chant master rune, so you can put one in the rune deck for master rune place, and then three more in the chant, just to be like, what you want three to. mana, kill that thing, kill that thing, kill that thing. Yeah, swing. Play any more dudes, I'm going to do it again. Yeah, this card is definitely cluster awesome, and New Frontiers is probably going to be pretty good if machines make it. Yeah. The next one, Super Mobile Fortress Camelot. <laughs> Two blue, four, it's a 12-12 for six flying machine. Enters. Return up to two target resonators your opponent controls to their owner's hands. If you control a card named the Guinevere, destroy those resonators instead. So she goes, fetches in, puts it into play, correct? Yeah. And when this comes in, you're like, I'm going to kill those dudes. Seems good. So you get a big thing to just to kill them with, and you get to kill dudes. Yeah, awesome. Next up is teleport. Oh, I'm sorry, mobile fortress. It's good and limited. Construct is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, next up is teleport. Four mana divinity two chant rune. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a resonator, put it into the field. This card is silly. It's. I like it. I think it's overcosted. I understand why it costs so much, but I don't. I don't think it's going to be used in, in Cluster or New Frontiers, but Limited, it's really cool. Like It's really good for shenanigans of, like, if you have 4C, like that 4C creature, be like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, play Teleport, I have a big dude. I will say this card's going to be awesome in Wonder, and the one deck I know it's good in is Shion, because you can always look at the top deck, top cards, so you're like, ah, that thing. But that's where I think it's at. Yeah. 
The next one, Wheel Drone. <clears throat> uh, one blue, four, 12, nine, pay two blue. This card gains flying until in a turn. Limited bomb, almost? Yeah. yeah. The card looks pretty crazy, too. Yeah. The, the art is fantastic. Yeah, but it's definitely a limited bomb. That's really where he's at. I think there's better for five mana in actual machines, so. Yeah, but definitely limited, for yeah. sure. Next up, we're gonna jump into the uh, wind cards and see what they got for us. And first off is an Ancient Runes Researcher. Two green and three for a 9-11 Mimi Tribe. Comes in to play, you draw a card. I mean, it's cool. Limited. Yeah, it's limited good. It's still got the same curse of Mimi Tribe where it's overpriced for <laughs> its ability. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, okay, the next one. Bullet Ball Thunderclap. One green, quick cast, Divinity 2, Chant Rune. At the additional cost to play this card, Banish Resonator. So you have to do that. So you're throwing them, right? This card deals damage equal to the Banish Resonator's attack to target Resonator. If this card was awakened, it deals that much damage to target and your opponent instead. What? It does that much to the target and the opponent. It, you, instead. It, it, it reads weird. I don't know why the instead's there, but anyway. Oh, instead of the original yeah. one. Sorry. Awakening, two green and one. So for four, you sack a dude. Kill a dude, hopefully hit them in the face. I think this card is actually really good. I think it's good and limited, and I think it's actually good as a rune, yeah. just because it's that last minute damage to get in there. Because green, if you're playing like if you're playing Mimi Tribe already, you got the elephant rune, so you're like, hey, make some tin tins. That's true. Throw one of my tin tins at your face. Wow. Yep. And it's quick cast, so you can do it at the end of the turn, which just makes it really worth it. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's good in yeah, in so. uh, cluster. And I think it'll be good in limited, but I don't I don't know. It may be good in New Frontiers, but I think it's a little too much for New Frontiers. It costs a little too much for it. Yeah. But we'll see. Next up is Bun Buku, the legendary tea kettle. Cute little beast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's three mana for a 312. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, you may put a beast from your hand into the field. So he replaces himself, and he's adorable. Oof. Well, really? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Like, oh, I guess that's why he has a 12 butt, so you can't really, like, yeah. kill him as fast as possible. But, hey, you can sack him for one if you have an awesome beast in your hand. Or, yeah, or if you're playing red-green, you can use that chick to sack a dude for one red to shoot something for six and get a dude. Yeah. So, I mean, he's he's got his place. I think he's cool and limited. He's he's going to block everything in limited. Yeah. Like, everything. You'll distract him with all the <laughs> Um, But I think in the right kind of built deck in it, Cluster or New Frontiers, he'll be good. It's definitely a build around. Yeah. Especially, let's see what kind of beast that we have, right? Yeah. Chamimi's Contemplation. Uh, one green, one. As you play this card, you may rest a recovered <laughs> Mimi tribe you control. If you do, pay one green, one less to play this card. Oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, target Resonator gains plus three, plus three until end of turn, draw a card. So it's essentially a free yeah. plus three plus three if you really want to. And you draw a card. So it's a cantrip. And if you played something this turn that can't, you know, you know it's going to survive if it gets attacked. You just tap it to pay. Plus That's three, pretty plus good. Three. It's good and limited. I don't I don't know if it's worth it in New Frontiers, yeah. but Cluster I could see being really good. We're going to have to play test this out and see how, yeah. how good it really is. God, they're just making all the cute animals. <laughs> Next up is a flying squirrel. It's three mana, eight, eight, adorable flying squirrel. And it pays a green, this card gets plus O, minus two, and flying until the end of turn. Really good limited. Yeah, this card's awesome and limited. You're just like, hey, take eight. Bow. And I love how the sun is shining behind it. As he's happily soaring through. <laughs> yeah. All right, Fox Shikop with Shikigami. There we go, I think. One, yeah. one leaf, two, seven, nine. You may pay one less to play this card if you control another, if you control a yin yang master. Uh -huh. So, I mean, he's yeah. cool. Yeah. We'll have to see what the Ying Ying Masters do, yeah. but I mean, he's alright, I guess. He's cool as limited. He may be cool in, in Cluster. He's definitely a filler. I don't I don't think he's worth it in New Frontiers, but we'll see. Uh, next up is the Friend Calling Whistle. <laughs> one, one green quick cast, Divinity 1 Chant Rune. You may pay, you pay one more to play this card from a rune area. Search your deck for a ninja, reveal it, and put it in your hand. I like it. Yeah, this card's pretty good because it's a tutor. It goes and gets you yes, what you need. Yeah. You're like, hey, I'm going to go get this thing. Especially on turn two, if you didn't get to play anything, you're just like, okay, I go search for the dude that I need. Thanks. Yeah, it's not really good in limited, but it's cool in cluster. Yeah. Man, I really love this art. This is amazing. So, Guardian Beast of Nature. 
Two green, six six. This card gains plus one plus one as long as you control another beast. Uh, really great limited. Yeah, yeah, dude's awesome. I don't limited. want this painting. And awesome. he's he's probably going to be pretty cool in uh, cluster too, honestly. Yeah. Again, red green, pretty good because you can use uh, the red dude that can you control a beast. He's a seven seven trample. I don't know. He's got a huge name. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. Next up is Liz, the sealed god of the island. So two green and six for a ten fifteen. You may pay one less to play this card for each resonator you control. Other resonators you control gain barrier resonator. And rune three, enter, put target non-magic stone, non-resonator card from your graveyard into your hand. So when I first saw this card, I didn't really like it all that much. The more I read it, it's it's good. Mm -hmm. But I don't I don't think it's gonna do a whole lot unless you're playing like go wide real quick. Yeah. I I just I don't know. It's a bomb yeah. and limited, like first and foremost. Yeah. It's and then in Cluster and New Frontiers, I think it'll be pretty good. I think it'll be a little better in Cluster, because there's a lot... You're better of a chance, I think. But I think it'll be really good with Fair. And wouldn't it protect it, your stuff against Lorite? Your creatures against Lorite? No. Because Barrier Resonator? No. No? Alright. Super sad. It protects it against Lily, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh... His hair's in the way. Magellan <laughs> Nakia. Oh, I don't know. The Ball Warrior. <laughs> Miguel the Ball Warrior is what he's named. <laughs> Three green, one, 12, 12. So play this card only if you control Mimi Tribe, which you will if you play Mimi. 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 Uh, enter. This card gains swiftness, precision, cannot attack players until end of turn. So it has. You kill a dude, basically, you come and play. Rest or recover, resonator you control, this card gains plus two, plus two until end of turn. I like it. This dude's pretty good. Yeah, especially like go wise strategies with this guy. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, four mana, you get to 12 12 that just is like, I'm gonna kill that thing. Yeah. I I think he's awesome. Bomb Unlimited, he's we pretty cool in, uh, he'll, he'll be good in Cluster. I, he'll be really good actually in mm -hmm. New Frontiers too, because Chumimi's already a deck. And to give it to Mimi at 12 12, that can just be like, ah, kill your 12 12. Yeah, for four. Yeah. Like, he, in a normal, like, fairness, he, sh he, sh he, he should be like a 12 6. Yeah. No, he's a 12 12 for four. <laughs> yeah. Like, so it doesn't even matter if you try to kill a dude, then he can't be really attacked. Yeah. On the he's way back. pretty silly. Uh, next up is Maul Maul, King of the Rare Beasts. Seven mana for a 20 20. So that's pretty sweet. That's one of the cards that you want to reveal on top and then put in the, <laughs> yeah. the field. Enter, destroy target non-magic stone entity with total cost four or less. When this card attacks, other beasts you control get plus five, Jesus. plus five. So essentially, if this dude hits the field, mm -hmm. your opponent either did something wrong <laughs> or, or you're really, really winning. You killed your <laughs> three drop that says whenever it dies, you put a beast from your hand to the play. Yeah. So essentially, your opponent did something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because if that 312 dies and you get a free 2020 that blows up something, <laughs> it's bad for them. Super bad. I mean, this dude's going to be hard to get off the field unless it's just straight kill dude. Yeah. He's bomb and limited. He'll be cool and constructed, but he's, again, one of those play around, build around cards. But I like him. Exactly. Next one. Ninja Students. One green, 4-3, uh, uh, first strike, which is amazing. And then you can pay two green and one, put a 1-1 one -one counter on this card. I really enjoy this card. Great limited bomb. Like, it's just a common bomb, so you hopefully turn one, turn three, end of your turn, put a counter on it. Put a counter on it. Yeah. Put a counter on it. And then just, it has first strike, so it will not die if you swing it into a dude. Yeah, this dude is awesome and limited, like you were saying, just because, yeah, make him big. Yeah, just make him big. It could be your only creature, and you're going for it. Yeah. He's really cool and limited. He'll, he could see play in others. I mean, he's actually pretty strong because he's a 4-3 for 1, which yeah. is kind of cool. With first strike. Yeah. All right, next up is Riku, Cat-Tongued Tea Master. 5 mana for an 11-12. Uh, you look at the... When it comes into play, you look at the top three cards of your deck. You may put a Wind Resonator with three or less from among them into the field. Put the rest in the bottom of your deck in a random order. Whenever another Wind Resonator is in the field under your control, put a T-Counter on this card. 
When this card is put into the graveyard from the field, you gain 400 life for each T counter that was on it. If there are three or more T counters, draw a card. Jeez. She's actually pretty cool. Yes. She's kind of over, like, she's not overpriced. I just, I think the build up with her is going to take a little bit too much for you to get a lot of counters on her. Yeah. She if that makes sense. She doesn't effectively affect the board that much <laughs> from playing. You might get a dude, but if not, then <clears throat> it is just 11-12, but still. Yeah. She's cool. Yeah. I think she's a limited bomb. I mean, she's definitely a limited bomb, but I think she's she's going to be a lot better in Cluster than anything, because in, in New Frontiers, if you got a Loride off that, you'd be kind of sad. Yeah. Wasting the Loride then, but it's all right. All right, next one. Runes Beneath the Flora. <coughs> two green, two. It's an ancient rune. At the end of turn, reveal the top card of your magic stone. If it's a win, magic stone put on the field. This card, I like it. I think it's great. God, this card is actually really sweet. Yeah, especially if you're just playing mono green. Yeah, because this card's just ramping you out. Just say, hey, I'm going to get a stone at the end of your end of my turn every turn. That, that card's awesome. Yeah. Uh, limited, it's not really going to do you much. I mean, it's cool, but... It'll ramp you a little bit, but yeah. Like, unless you have mana dumps to just throw in there. Yeah. And to flip your dude as soon as possible. Like, Yeah, but this is definitely like a cluster card. Yeah. Next up is Same as Disciple. Two mana for a 5-6. Yin Yang Master Cat. Tap target resonator gains plus one, minus one till the end of turn. If there are three or more runes revealed from your rune area, it gains plus two, minus two instead. That's where you, uh, I guess since it's in one paragraph, they can be rune three. But... Eh. It's cool and limited. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's mean mugging the hell out of you, but yeah, right? it's pretty cool. With a little fire spirit and all that <laughs> yeah. and such. Uh, it's definitely just a limited card in my opinion. We'll, have to, we'll see what it can do otherwise, yeah. though. Otherwise, meh. The next one, Stormcat. Two green and four. It's a chant. You may pay one less to play this card if you control a ninja, so... What, five? This card deals uh, 20 damage to target resonator. There's your way to kill the giant monkey. Yep. Now, ow! But definitely limited. Yeah. It's, it's meh. After that. If it did, or player, then we can talk about. It. No. Or, or I, even J Resonator. I mean, like, this, if this did J, then yeah, because for three mana or four mana, you can use the uh, ninja one that cuts down a Resonator for four mana. Yeah. Or it just destroys a Resonator. And that's get, a rune too, so like. I, this card's kind of just bad. It's kind of bad. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is Table Flip. A green and three, Divinity 2. It's a Chant Master rune. It's got Quick Cast. You may pay three less to play this card if your J Ruler is Hanzo. Choose one. If Target Resonator would deal would deal damage this turn, prevent it, then this card does 800 damage to that Resonator instead. Or if Target Chant would deal damage this turn, prevent it, and this card deals five damage to your opponent instead. I think this card is awesome in Hanzo as an actual Chant. Yes. Uh, his Master rune is still way too good to not use his own but this card has a chant in the deck where you're just like prevent that damage deal eight yeah it's, it's, it's card's just awesome good. limited it's meh but constructed in, in both cluster and new frontiers this card's gonna be just good. multiple copies of one green to be able to do that yeah <laughs> all right the six jizo statues uh one green six six this card cannot attack or block unless there are six or more 1-1 one, one counters on it. At the end of turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this card. Uh, limited. Goodness. Yeah, this card feels like a trap. Yeah. A terrible, terrible trap. Because if you draw a late game, what's the point? If you draw it early and they're just like, keep getting counters on it, keep getting counters on it, and you're so excited to do something, they're like, oh, bounce it. Yeah, bounce it. <laughs> you just lost out on like five turns of doing nothing. Super sad. Yeah, this card's bad. Yeah. Uh, next up is the Unsealing of God. That is an impressive name. Yep. One green for Divinity, one chant rune, destroy target edition. For such a simple thing to do. I kind of like it, but yeah. it's it's really just a sideboard card in Cluster or New Frontiers. Yeah. I don't really see it used elsewise. Or if the meta gets to where there's additions, then you definitely just have in your rune for you know time spinning witch yeah. or whatever. All right. Su what? Sunade. Sunade. Sorry. Brawny Cat Ninja. Two green, eight five, barrier chant. I like it. Yeah, that dude's awesome. Two minute eight five with barrier chant because yeah. it, it totally it it won't shut down time spinning witch, but I mean it 
it hurts them pretty bad because their their main removals are bounce Just spells. Bounce, yeah. And yeah. otherwise they'll have to waste like a Moses where to kill it. And the the fact that attack is eight for a two drop. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's it for the green. We're gonna move into the darkness now. Yeah. First up is Amon, Conspirer of Atrocities. Five mana for a 12 12. He's a demon. Enter, you pay any number of life. Target resonator gets minus one, minus one for each life paid this way. <laughs> this dude's awesome. So final yeah. battle for target thing. Yep. Because they had to remove final battle because it was a little <laughs> too strong. So here's a little creature to help you out with it. I mean, he costs five, so he's a little bit much, but it's worth it. Definitely good limited. <laughs> yeah. Definitely use it. All right. As Astima, right? Mm -hmm. Astima, the Returning of Hatred. This card is super amazing. Yeah. So, two darkness, one, seven, six, flying. That's good stats overall. Enter. Your opponent loses 500 life. Just like that. If there are three or more runes revealed from your rune area, you gain 500. Okay, seems fair. Pay 400 life, draw a card. Play this ability only during your turn and once per turn. And then you can pay 10 life, your opponent loses 500. Play this ability only during your turn and once per turn as well, because you can't just immediately blow them out. Dude, this, this card is so good on every every level. Yes. Limited, cluster, new frontiers, everything. This card is awesome. So three mana, if it's in an aggro deck, it's fantastic because it's a seven six flyer that makes them lose five. And you have the Straight ability up. to gain lot or to, to gain card advantage. Yeah. Even if it's once per turn, I don't care. It's still free card advantage for you. Even and as a player. Yeah. And if you're a higher life than them and all you need is five damage, I'll pay 10 just to shoot you for five. Yeah. Great. Because you're already winning that race by swinging in. So you're just like, cool, pay 10, take five. Y even late game, you can just play her and be like, you lose five, I'll pay 10 life. You lost 10 life. Like, all together. Like, that's insane. And if you're playing her with runes, then you get extra value because you gain five life off of it. Yeah, this card's so good. It's insane good. Definitely try to pick this card up when the set drops. And totally waifu material. <laughs> totally. Next up is Athenia, Sealed God of the Runes. Five mana for a 12 10. Uh, enters your opponent, banishes a resonator. If they don't, they banish a magic stone. Jeez. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, your opponent banishes a non J ruler entity. Tap, resonators your opponent's control, gain minus two, minus two until the end of turn. If there are four more runes revealed from your rune area, they get minus four, minus four instead. She's pretty good. Yeah. Definitely worth using as a big, like, late game drop to kill your stuff because i mean they they're forced to make a choice either lose a dude or they have to lose a stone yeah and nobody likes losing stones it's bad and the fact that once it dies it also does it again yeah like it, yeah this card's really really good limited bomb yeah for sure cluster bomb and probably new frontiers bomb yeah. actually probably will be using new frontiers for sure the next one black eyed angel so, 2 Darkness, 3, 13, 7, Flying. Limited. Oh, yeah. Limited. Just, that's good. Next up is Caspiel, the Fallen Angel of Rebellion. 6 mana for a 12, 10 Flyer. Each player advantages a Resonator. So far, these other dudes are huge, and they're limited bombs. Mm -hmm. This it's... one could be kind of sad, because the, this is their only creature when they kill when it comes into play. You know, yeah. You have to banish it. Yeah, he could be kind of sad, but he could be also really cool, too. Yeah. All right, Chaining Hatred, <laughs> two Darkness, three uh, Divinity, two Chammer. You may pay one more to play this card from your rune area, but target three Resonators. Each, the first Resonator gets minus eight, minus eight, second minus six, minus six, and the third is minus four, minus four. So a slightly backwards Isis rune, <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's really weird. It's Black's version of it, but yeah. it's not as strong. I like the card. I think it's better as a chant if you're using it at all. Yeah. I why would you pay six? For, like, yeah, I mean, it's cool to just have, but limited, I think it's where it's mostly going to be played. Because for five mana, you kill three dudes in limited is pretty strong. Uh, cluster, I think, is the only other place it'll see play at all, if it, if at all, because it's just, it's kind of meh, but it's, it's okay. Next up is a contract demon. This dude is pretty sweet. Two black for a six, six. He comes into play, you lose four life and draw a card. All right. And rune two black, this card gets plus two, plus two. So two mana, you have an eight, eight that draws you a card. Yep. I 
did. That's awesome. That's good. Really Dude, good. limited bomb, constructed bomb. Like, all Probably formats. if you can go, like, full aggro with it. Corrupt Teachings to Darkness 2 Quick Cast Chant. Target Resonator you control gets plus 8, plus 0. Target Resonator your opponent's control gains minus 0, minus 8, to end a turn. Uh, super good and limited. Yeah. Like, it's insane. I think that's really its only place, though. Yeah, because it costs too much it, for Yeah, four. it costs a lot. But if you're swinging in, and then you're able to kill their dude while pumping your dude, then it's just amazing. Yeah. Next up is the Dark Soldier of the Fallen. Two mana for a 6-4 first strike. Amazing picture. Yes, the art way beats out the card. Yeah. So the card's still good, and it's also human, so that helps out, because yeah. the Black White Brunhild deck just gets a little better with this. But I just, it's, it's pretty strong. Limited, it's going to be a bomb. We'll have to see if it gets if it gets to replace anything in the Brunhild deck, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah. But it's still really good. <laughs> Next one is uh, Dragon Zombie. Two Darkness, two, six, six. Uh, enters the field, target resident gets minus six, minus six until in the turn. Great limited. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool limited card for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, next up is a Graveyard Vampire. That card looks crazy. Yeah. Four mana for a 6-7 flyer. Remove target two resonators in your graveyard from the game. This card gets plus four, plus four until the end of turn. Play this only once per turn. I think this card's a bomb and limited, and I actually think this card's going to be really good in Cluster, too. Yeah. Because you're, you're going to have the late game. Like, a control deck loves this kind of card if they have enough dudes. Because this, this card just gives you the win after a while. You're just like, hey, take ten. Wow. And if you play it with Lich at all, then it would help you out, too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. The next one, March of the Dead for one Darkness Chant. But Target Resonator with total cost two or less from the Graveyard onto the field. Put up to one second Target Resonator with total cost two or less from the Graveyard onto the field if this card was Awakened, which is only two black. So for three mana, you get two John Darks, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this card is so good. Uh, limited, it'll be cool. It's, it's just to get back into the game. It's yeah. nothing really crazy. But in Cluster and in New Frontiers especially, New Frontiers is even better. Yes. Because you get two John Darks, and you only need one more John Dark to be like, hey, you can't kill my dudes. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, card's insane. It's r ridiculous. Uh, next up, the art is crazy. Or Orchard of the Immortals. Yay. Three black for an addition ancient runes. Whenever a non-token resonator is put into a graveyard from the field, put a fruit counter on this card. Remove three fruit counters, put an 8-8 Lich into play. That's kind of cool. That's kind of weird. Yeah. I like this actually a lot. Like the idea of it for Lich is really cool. I don't know how well it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, in Limited, it's actually really cool though. Because anything that makes you a token in the Limited is really pretty good. Even if it takes a little bit just because it makes you a token. Yeah. It, it reminds me of Heavenly Fruit art of just yeah. Scarlet eating the apples. Which those are apples on the tree, which is pretty cool. The next one, Orpheus, the Immortal <laughs> Player. Two Darkness, 6-5. Uh, it's a zombie, so you pay one, remove a resonator in your graveyard from the game, put a 2-2 two -two darkness zombie resonator took on the field. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this dude is awesome. This dude is really good. Limited bomb. Yes. you're just like, hey, all my dudes that you just killed, I'm going to make more dudes. Just in a turn, I have 2-2 two -two zombies. And Cluster, he's also a bomb, because he does the same thing. Yeah. And he makes Lich amazing, because all your dudes, after you get another token from them dying, you get another token from them being dead. Yeah. This dude's really, really strong. Uh, next up is Power of the of Immortality. One black and one quick cast Divinity 1. That's a chant rune. You, pay, you may pay one less to play this card from a rune area, so one black. Target Resonator gains plus four, plus oh. And when this card is put into the graveyard from the field, put into the field rested under its owner's control. So it's essentially just a play dead for black. Yep. It's a little bit better because you can kill their dude with it. You're like, ah, them dude's big. I like it. I, I like think it. it'll be... It's limited. Cool. It's amazing limited, actually. And even in uh, New Frontiers, just to have it as a, in an aggro deck, for sure. And God help the poor soul that runs in John Dark, and you're like, Bow! <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Now it's super dead. <laughs> yeah. The next one. Ruined Earth. Two Darkness, three Divinity, two. You <clears throat> may pay one less to play this card from your Rune Error. So four. Destroy target Magic Stone. Resonators, your opponent's control. Game minus four, minus four until in the turn. It seems ridiculous. Yeah. Seems really good. It's a four mana, kill your land, and your dudes get little. Yeah. I, this card's really strong mm -hmm. as a rune. Swing in. It's cool. 
And you can have more of them in your main decks. This card, it, it gives you stone kill. Yeah. Kill that. Just, yeah. Kill that. Turn five, kill your stone. Turn six, kill your stone. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty strong in all formats, really. Turn four, kill your stone. It's ridiculous. Uh, next up is a Runes Devil. Four mana for a 10-6. Limited good. Yeah, limited good for a 10-6. Yeah. It doesn't fly, which is sad. It's got wings and doesn't fly. Yep. It's a force wheel card. The wings are too heavy because <laughs> they're made out of stone. Next one. Sewing Zombie. Two darkness, one, four, four. Curse it is put in the graveyard from field, but two uh, zombies in the field. This card's awesome in Lich. He's great in Limited because yep. he replaces himself. And he's going to be really good in Lich and Cluster is what I think. I like the art. It's pretty cute. Next up is Soul Prison. This is actually one of my favorite cards of the Darkness cards. Yes. So six mana, Divinity three, Chant Master Rune. You pay three less if your ruler is Lucifer. Target Resonator gains minus zero, minus ten until the end of turn. When it is put into the graveyard this turn, put it into the field under your control. Insane. This card's insane. Yeah. So essentially you can use one as a Master Rune if you want. And you can put three in the main deck as of right now. Yeah. Or you can leave his old master rune as his master rune. So you're like, three mana, that dude gets minus 0, minus 10. And then they only have two dudes, you're like, sacrifice two dudes. That dude still is going to die, so you still get it. Yep. It only has to hit it once. Even if it doesn't kill it, it says when it goes into the graveyard this turn. Yeah, it gains that little stipulation. This card is awesome. The card's really good, especially for three mana. Yeah. It's Limited, it's not so cool because it's cost six. Yeah. But I mean, it's okay. It's, yeah. But Cluster and New Frontiers, it's going to be amazing. Super good. Next one Spectre of the Abyss, two darkness, one, seven, six, flying. Enter, uh, enters the field, your opponent discards a card. This card's awesome. Yeah. Holy crap, I haven't seen this card. This dude's going to be great and limited. I think he'll be really good in Cluster. I don't, I don't think he'll be as good in New Frontiers, honestly, because I think he's a little better. Yeah. But this dude's really strong. Unless you're going for discard super hard, but still. Yeah. Man. And that is actually the full 100, guys. That is all of the Darkness cards. The set looks amazing. Go out and do pre-release this weekend, guys. Thank y'all for joining us. And if you uh, want to see more of our videos, check down below. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Bye. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all of our future content, make sure you tap that bell. And go ahead and check us out on our streams. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, and thank you for staying here on the island. Later, guys. Bye.